Hey YouTubers, Muscat got Jim here. I'm just heading out to the shelter to get the chip out of my trail camera that I left there a few days ago. Just to see if there's been any activity. And also I'll see if uh, there's any fresh tracks around. So why don't you join me? There's some fresh tracks here. Okay, those ones are squirrel. And I can't really tell claw marks you can see that the center of the pad where the foot is um, on a fox because their feet are so furry they tend to be less distinguishable so this may be a fox So it'd be kind of nice if I get a fox on my trail cam. But anyway, we'll take a look. Anyway, the snow is quite crusty, so I'm going to avoid trying to speak while I'm walking. Otherwise, you're never going to hear me. Okay, I can see my trail cam over there. So it stayed up. My shelter is right over here someplace. It's behind that tree. So I know no one's taking my trail cam anyway. Squirrel tracks are smaller than the ones we saw earlier. And these ones are red squirrel tracks. So there's a red squirrel that lives right over there in that pile of brush. Well, it's, it looks like a pile of snow right now, but it really is a pile of brush. And he comes out and talks to me every once in a while. Anyway, there's the shelter. And uh, we didn't get too much snow over the last few days, just a, you know, just a dusting once in a while. So I'm hoping to be able to catch some footprints in the snow over there. And perhaps maybe the trail cam caught a glimpse of it as well.
chip is right here in the bottom. Just don't want to drop it in the snow. Got a little case here that I carry it in. Check the batteries. So put that in the middle. There it says welcome. I don't know if you can see that or not. Let me just zoom in. Now, yeah, hopefully, it'll go off that screen. This trail cam doesn't seem to work really well in the deep cold, like minus 20 or something, and it has to do with the batteries. I'm using um, alkaline batteries in here. And if I were to use something like uh, lithium batteries, it would uh, it would work better down at low temperatures. Yeah, it's not even going to boot up because it's so cold. Oh, wait a second. It might come yet. No, it's taking too long. It should really quickly jump to the menu the next screen and then I'd be able to tell how strong the batteries are. I think when I come back out next time I'll uh, bring some fresh batteries. Yeah, that's not going to boot. So I'm just going to turn that off to conserve the batteries, what's left of them. Close that up to keep the weather out. Okay, we're just going to Take a little walk towards the shelter there, just to see if there's any footprints. There might be something. Um, I'm not really sure. Like I said, there's red squirrel footprints here in the ground. But I don't know if um, they would have triggered the camera or not. Looks like the red squirrel was right here. Recently. But I don't see anything inside that would indicate that they went inside. As I mentioned earlier, we got just a dusting of snow. There doesn't seem to be any footprints going in that direction. I haven't seen many rabbit tracks out here. I don't know if it's a low year for rabbits or not. If it's a low year for rabbits. You can see. Uh, Foxes are going to be hungry too. Again, the red squirrel. Over there, slightly larger print, so that would be a gray squirrel. They're fairly close together. So it means whatever it was was just walking. It wasn't like trying to run or anything. But there's snow inside the tracks. So you can't really tell what it is. Can't really tell if those are toes or not. It was traveling in that direction. The beaver pond is down in that direction, so there would be uh, open water for them to drink. Whatever this was. Pads way too wide for a fox. Because they're so close together, it was a slow walking 
whatever it was. We've had reports of coyotes in the area. Well, not this exact area, but um, probably within five miles from here. So seven kilometers, eight kilometers. Anyway, I guess that's about it. So I'm going to head back, and if there was anything on the camera, um, I'll definitely be making a video. If there was nothing on the trail cam, well, I may not produce a video. <laughs> anyway, till next time, Muskrat Jim, signing out. Well, here we are. I'm going to take the chip, put it in my computer, and we're going to see what's on it. Well, it looks like it took two videos. So that's kind of disappointing. Let's just make this bigger. Okay. So this is a video of me coming up to the camera. So it doesn't look like it took any videos throughout the past few days, which is quite disappointing. Yeah, it's just me opening up the camera. And, oops. And the other one is just when the door swung open. Okay, so I'm going to put the chip back into the camera tomorrow and uh, we'll let it run for another few days, see what happens. Now I did get some pictures of a doe back in the end of November and um, what I'll do is I'll play those clips during the closing credits. So till next time, this is Muskrat Jim, signing out. <laughs>